Guys, I'm on a mission to find the most notorious, the most dangerous, the most frightening estate in the whole of London. Come with me on this journey as I travel all around London giving you an insight on what your local housing estate is really like from an honest point of view. In today's episode, we're in West London at the Green Dragon Estate in Brentford, which has been ridiculed by the media for high levels of crime in the past, so I went to go check it out for myself. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm guessing this is the first building you see when you arrive at Green Dragon Estate. I was told there was six. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I believe six one might be behind this building here. But yeah, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Feel like they've renovated it a bit it looks quite clean it looks like they've painted over it let's see yeah so it doesn't look too bad as of as of now um they've got cctv everywhere look how big they are that has to be at, at least what, 20 to 25 floors in each of them but yeah it, doesn't look too bad. I'd like to see what it looked like before they, it got renovated. Because it looks like it's just been repainted or they've done something to the outside of it. So this is Bolton House. 23 floors, so yeah, I will try to get into one of these buildings. But yeah, it looks pretty clean and tidy to be fair. Doesn't look doesn't look like I'd be scared to come here at night or something. But, you know, at night it could be a whole different story. I can hear some like... I can tell we're near a school. So a children's little player. It looks quite clean to be fair. It looks quite clean. So I reckon... I reckon the inside might be a bit... A bit dirty. Which is typical in uh, estates in London. Let's see if we can get into one of these ones. So I'm just walking across. So the car park, the car park's not too bad. Uh, you've got your bins. See, these look in decent condition, to be fair. Looks like they have, they've repainted the, the car park not too long ago. So leave. Looks like it's been looked after. Maudsley House. So, obviously I did my research on this place and apparently it's been, um, it's been, it used to get raided a lot by police. Um, apparently they had a really big raid in 2018 where they, they've seized a lot of guns and drugs and gangs. A lot of them were quite young. Like, I heard that it was a boy as young as 14. But it wasn't just this area, it was just like neighbouring areas as well in West London. But this is one of the estates that was affected by the raids, so what's going on here? Don't know what that is, but it's making noise. But yeah, it's not too bad. Like, look, there's another kids area here. I'm still looking for the sixth block. Uh, all I can see is five, unless... They've counted that one as one. Okay, so there's little kids area here. You know, it doesn't look bad compared to the other ones I'm gonna do in this series. This doesn't look too bad. I reckon, I reckon this will be probably one of the cleaner ones. It's interesting though, because that one there is really far away. It looks quite close, but that one there is really far away. Huge here, actually. 
From what I've gathered, there's only five. Five of these blocks, unless, because I've done, unless they've tore one down, I don't know, but on Google, there was there was a little bit of spray paint. There was like a little area where they had a bit of spray paint. So, well, there's some spray paint here, but I'm talking about a massive, like a massive bit of um, bit of a wall where it was all spray paint. Yeah, it looks pretty clean out here. Like new signs, everything. Like it looks looks after. If I flip it this way, you can see the real size of it. That is crazy. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad here. We need to try and get inside one though. I want to go check out that last that last one down there. I reckon, why is it so far away? Like it's, one, two. Oh wait, maybe there is six. So the one I thought was far away, there's actually one behind it, so there is six, but it's, the way they're spaced out, yeah, so that's, that's that last one there, so, so there is six. You know, it's not too bad. The weather's terrible. I don't think you're gonna have much gang activity going on here if anything if anything it will be happening inside the blocks but yeah look it's just got a lot of plot of land here like it's a massive estate oh, fuck it let's just walk on the grass let's just walk on the grass it's gonna make me go all the way around there just come down the stairs fuck it, let's just walk on the grass right oh, that's crazy so you got the Brentford Stadium over there. It's very close to the Brentford Stadium. Also, it doesn't give me, you know when you go to a nasty estate, it doesn't give me those sort of vibes like, ah, oh, I shouldn't be here for, for that long because I'm not from this area, but it, it seems a bit safe here. Like, it seems all right, there's CCTV everywhere. It's quite bright because it's got a lot of greenery. A lot of space, a lot of cars, so it's not too bad. I don't think it's, I don't think it's too bad here. To be fair, let me walk up here. Let me walk up here and see what's going on. And I'm sure that's a, is that sort of like a football area? Okay, I think I found a graffiti. This should be good. No ball games. I feel like this should be good. Uh oh. You know what, yeah, this is quite nice. This is quite nice. That's the graffiti. I'm gonna go down, they've got, they've got headlights here. It's, you know what, yeah, this looks kind of new, like the last couple of years. Look at that large plot of land. Oh yeah, SpongeBob. Let me come around these railings so I can get a better view of it. That's very nice, yeah. Uh, what does that say? I've got no idea, but it's really nice. What does that say, Brigger? That's really nice. Yeah, they've done, they've done their thing here, to be fair. Look at that. I like the little, um, the money. That's really nice, Top Cat. That's, I was trying to figure out what this thing was. 23. Briggs. Let's figure out, figure out who's Briggs. Brigger. www.wearskyhigh.com. It's probably where people chill, drink. It's a lot of water bottles. It's a bit sad that they're just dumping everything, but that's what you're gonna get. Brentford Towers Cruyff Court. Nice. Shout out to Johan Cruyff. I don't know if he's got any affiliation to. To Brentford but it's nice nice this is what I'm talking about look at that look at that beautiful there's a trolley here we could probably use that later to take some shots but look at this what does that say que is that Spanish maybe but look at this stuff 
Like whoever's done all of this is really talented. Really, really talented. It's beautiful. You know, they need to do more of this, you know, build sort of astral turfs, like nice basketball courts in these sort of areas, man, because there's a lot of kids growing up around here, talented kids, man, where they can use these sort of resources, man, to make it in life. But yeah, look at it, it's really nice. Thing is, yeah, this is, these towers are nowhere near the bigger ones in London. That's what's crazy. But yeah. We get a shot of this great foundation that's really nice but yeah moving on people's postcode lottery i remember when these adverts used to come up that's really nice i remember when them adverts used to come up but yeah um like i was saying man they need to build more of these sort of um astroturfs in the states in the states and basketball courts but good basketball courts man don't just build these these little shitty ones like give people an opportunity man in life but obviously they need funding they need this they need that so i'm sure they have it but they just don't want to do it but um swiftly moving on uh i'm gonna head to now let's go up these stairs let's go up these stairs You know, I don't think, I don't think this estate, it doesn't look too bad. Like I was expecting a lot worse from, from the stories I've read on Google and stuff like that. Green Dragon Estate. I thought it'd be a lot worse, but it's not too bad. It doesn't seem, but obviously I don't know this place. You got this stuff here. So a lot of stuff to do, to be fair, in this estate. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff for little kids. Obviously you got football for the maybe slightly older kids not too bad go straight into the building hopefully we can get inside i want to see what it's like but yeah guys like i was saying i'm going to do more of these videos just exploring like hoods in london and just showing people what it's what it's like what the building's like inside what the people are like if we, if we meet people along the way um yeah just those type of videos but i'm gonna start in west london because i live in west london and it will just be easier for me to get around but we're going to move on, we're going to move on to more northwest London, then we're going to move on to north. And there's, I'm excited for north because I grew up in north. And I really want to show you around some of the estates there where it's, where it's quite, it's grimy, it's disgusting. And hopefully they haven't renovated it because I want to show you the real side of certain areas in London. And I think you guys would, would love it, honestly. Um, okay, where are we at now? Boom, you got the Brentford Stadium. Brentford Stadium just there so what we're gonna do is there's actually a door here that's open and we can get into one of the buildings and it's the sixth one it's the last one so this is exciting so it's this door here I was thinking no way this is gonna be open oh fuck it's locked it was just open a minute ago oh fuck that's not good fuck so literally I tried about two minutes ago and it was open. I was like, fuck, let me go record quickly. Fuck, and it's locked. That's a bit of shit. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. I've, I've definitely seen worse. Okay. Let's try. Oh, access denied. What we could do is just wait for someone to come out, to, to be fair. Keep dogs on leads. Fucking I can, I, can, I can, the thing is, I can hear a lot of barking in these estates, like coming from the buildings. So it's like, does everyone have a dog or something? Like what's going on? What is Brig? What is, it's literally spray painted all over this place. What is that? Who even knows? Ever. Nice. Now what's that? I don't know what that is, but fuck, it looks dodgy. It's fuck down there. Definitely some dead bodies or some shit down there.
this is typical um, UK weather, cloudy. By the way, nothing new. I want to get to the very top as well. 25 floor. I think it'll be easy if I get to that one, Fraser House. I feel like I've seen more people come out of that one. It's starting to rain as well. Well, it was light rain, I don't mind. But I parked my car about 10 minutes away because everything is everything is permit around here and I don't trust these ticket guys I don't trust these ticket guys oh someone's broke it someone's broke it door open please enter let's fucking go let's go we're in we're fucking in Alright, where's the lift? Um, that goes to the 21st floor. This goes to the 22nd floor. I guess we have to go there. Ooh, someone's a, someone was already on the 22nd floor. But yeah, as I can see, it's a bit... They haven't really renovated, they haven't really done anything to the stairs. Fucking dodgy, man. Look at that, it's fucking dodgy. Storing, what's in the storing? Oh fuck. I feel like I shouldn't be in there. Fourth floor, okay, we're nearly there. Fucking hell. 22nd floor. Fucking hell, what's under there? I've never seen a lift like this. Oh, it stinks in there, man. It fucking stinks in there. Like, it smells like... Um, I can't even describe the smell. It just smells really bad in there. It smells like damp. Damp and sweat. But yeah, we're in the tall floors. Let's go back a bit. Come up short. Decent view, to be fair. Oh, my mic is still on. Yep. Yeah, man. Oh, look, you can see the river as well. Can you see that all the way down there, the river? Nice. Look at these stairs. Fucking, that's a bit dodgy. Yeah, these stairs are... One, one drop, you're cracking your skull. But yeah, it's not too bad. The view is quite nice. I would, if I lived here, I would just come out here all the time. It's decent. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's like that. But yeah, it is not too bad, guys. But you can see someone's miniature pool. It's quite nice, to be fair. take I've had to take I've had to go to the second floor and then go down the stairs to the first floor to exit this place I'm sure I could have exited on the ground floor but I didn't I didn't recognize it I was like what the fuck it's not what it looked like uh, 
no, that just looks like more. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I don't know. I went down the lift and I was like, I do not remember it looking like that when I, when I went in. What the fuck? Fire door, please ensure this door is locked. Bro, how the fuck do I get out of here? This is weird. How the fuck do I get out of here? When I generally want to leave, it's not letting me. Let me just come out of here. basement or something. Low ground. All right, get me out of here. I see, I see you guys watching me. Fraser House. Oof, it's warm. It's very oh, warm in this building. So it was the lower ground floor. But they should put some sort of sign saying to exit lower ground, exit building lower ground floor. Oh shit, they got like a delivery service kind of thing here. Okay guys, um, overall, decent estate to be fair, overall. Um, yeah, I didn't see I mean, the insides don't look great of the corridors and the lift and everything. I don't know what the insides of the flats look like. I'm not going to knock on someone's door. Oh, can I shoot a video in your house? I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. Unless I know someone living there. Obviously, that would be helpful. But um, look at this car. Deadly Drifters in pink. I think the inside is all pink as well. Nice. Mm. Overall, yeah, um, I would say not not a bad estate. Not one I'd be too wary of, but obviously, it may be a different story if I come here at I don't know midnight. You know, because that's where I'm guessing that's when gangs tend to operate. So but I have read up. I've obviously I've said it before. I've read up on Google. This is one of the estates that was targeted. That is targeted by police and gets raided. Um, but oh, very windy. Hopefully you can still hear me from my mic. But overall, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll give this a, let's do a safe, um, let's do like an out of 10, how safe it is. 10 being dangerous, don't go there. One being, <laughs> It's nothing, it's a walk in the park. Out of 10, I'll give this a... I'll say a three. I mean, there's nothing that makes me wanna look over my shoulder. Like I'm just here casually um, recording myself. And it seems like the residents here, let's go, let's go around here. It seems like the resident, residents here are like working class people as well. And obviously, you're going to have uh, council tenants as well and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what? I give it a 3 out of 10. A 3.5. Let me be a bit generous. 3.5. I don't want to diss your, your hood. Brentford, I don't want to diss your hood, man. But I think 3.5 is decent. It's decent. I would, um, if you asked me to, if you asked me to live in an estate, this would be probably one of them. It's close to everything, close to train stations, close to shopping centers, close to all the main lines and stuff like that, close to bus stops, everything, close to restaurants, like it's, every, it's got everything really. So yeah, overall I'll give it a solid 3.5. Boom. Mm -hmm.